Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Alyssa. <laughs> I'm Garrett. And we're the Leffersons. And we also have James down here. In case if you're wondering, we're currently at Pop Century, headed to Hollywood Studios. For the evening. For the evening. It is 425. We have some lightning lanes already booked. So like our night is pretty much set already, but. It's been raining all day. <laughs> it's been raining all day. And also we're cutting it close. We really want to go to the last Disney Junior like dance and play party thing because James loved it last time. However, the last showing is at 455 and it's almost 430. So we're hoping we can get to the park like Mission Impossible in kind of 30 minutes. Let's do it. We made it through security. Let's go on in. Oh, it's closed. Sad day. It is 4.50. We have made it to the Disney Junior area. All of the, the Disney Junior characters are out meeting right now. And that means we made it on time. So look at that, friends. Success. Let's go to the Disney Junior dance party. <laughs> Garrett's ready. <laughs> Like it's not over. <laughs> yeah. It's the after party. Yep. We needed a pick me up, and that that required a num num cookie and a beer. We got it over at Market back here by Toy Story Land, or on the way to Toy Story Land. I think we're gonna head to Toy Story Mania uh, because we have a lightning multi fast lane pass. <laughs> James with the chocolate face. How was the cookie? Yummy. Yum, yum. Okay, do you want to go on a Buzz and Woody ride next or a Mickey and Minnie ride? You want to do Mickey and Minnie and Donald Duck? And Goofy? Goofy's going to be on that ride too. Do you want to go on a Mickey and Minnie ride then? Yeah, we'll do that, okay? We're going to go do that. When, yeah, we're at Disney, you're right. I love you. <laughs> Mickey ride. Yay! 
that concludes my guided tour. Nothing can stop us now. Well, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was a runaway hit with our son. Uh, he was super jazzed about the entire thing. We had a really good seat. We were row three, but like we were the first into the rooms. Um, it just looked really, really good. So, uh, always a great time. It feels like you're in the story. But uh, as we got out, Alyssa said, I need to do some uh, lightning lane work. So she'll probably talk more about that, but we are, <laughs> sorry, our son just switched lanes. Alyssa, <laughs> you, were, you just put your hand up and just walked across everybody <laughs> and everybody gave way. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh, oh, so sweet. Do you want to get a picture with us? Do you want to get a picture? Hold his hand. Here we go. Oh, there you go, buddy. Okay, say bye bye. Bye, <laughs> bye Ola. James, where are we? Frozen. So we have made it into the Frozen show, and I guess you can bring your drinks in. We were just hoping for the best, to be honest. If they were gonna tell us to chug it, we were just gonna chug it. So <laughs> they let us in with them, so. So now we get to watch the Frozen show with, with a drink. Drink in hand. We got snacks for the child, we're great. Snacks Let's for us this. too? Let's be real, come on. We always bring snacks that we would eat too. <laughs> ready, set, ready, set, go. Charlie, thank you 
so much. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. Okay, you guys, I think it's like maybe seven at this point or after seven. First things first, let's talk about the Frozen show for a hot sec. It was so funny. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like since, I don't remember his name, I'm gonna put his name down below, but like there was a Sir Eric a couple of years back or way back, probably pre-COVID at this point, and he was just so funny and he like made every Frozen show. And it's just been a while since there's been like anyone that's been like really funny, you know what I mean? That plays that role. And both Sir Eric and Aria, I think was her name today, they were amazing and they totally stole the show. I think they were probably like delirious, but we are too and it was hilarious, like so funny. Anyways, we are all starving. So we are going to go eat at the ABC commissary for dinner. It's been a minute. Okay, so we decided to get the, for the kids meal, we got the grilled ham and cheese, which looks really yummy. And with that came chips, or you could get fries, and then apple slices, or you could get oranges. We chose apple slices. We also got a beer, of course. Oh, and that also came with the milk, which we'll have to get that for him. Garrett got this big Mediterranean salad with chicken. We got this cute little ghost dessert. And then I got the buffalo chicken grilled cheese. So I'm excited. Let's do this. A little longer than a few minutes later. We're struggling a little bit. Time has passed. What did we just do, Garrett? Uh, we just went live on Patreon and watched uh, Fantasmic, which was magical. It was so magical. And now we are transitioning to ice cream bars. James is in there. I'm sorry it's really dark for some reason. We are on Sunset Boulevard. It is totally raining on us at this point. This is what I look like. Sweat rag. I don't even care. So we just went and got some beers. I think we already told you that, right? Um, and just found out that the second, technically they usually have two showings of Fantasmic. The second showing um, is canceled due to the rain, but I feel like it's, I don't know, it's been raining as much as it has been before, but maybe just it was too wet the first time and they're canceling the second one, I don't know. Moral of the story here is, if it's a rainy night, I would recommend seeing the first one if it's actually gonna happen. Okay, uh, walking in and instantly see these plushies and I've never seen them before, like what? This is Pascal. What? what? Why do they look like that? Like there's, that, that's a normal looking stitch, but that, that doesn't look right. Garrett let James out, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but I did realize, I'm gonna show you guys over here. I realized that they already have some Christmas stuff out. So they've got the Making Christmas Fright, My Joys, and the most magical holiday on earth. Look at this Lizzie McGuire shirt also. Like, that is a vibe and I love it. Oh, this is cute. A You're Welcome shirt. I saw this shirt earlier and thought it was so adorable. However, it's just kids. Um, like, older kid sizes? I don't know. This is an extra small and it looks huge, so I'm not sure. Um, it's so stinking cute. 
If you get two youth tees, it's $18 a piece. If you get two adult ones, it's $25 a piece. This one is super fun too, I love it. James found these really fun, cheaper toys. They have this little like section that's like under $25 toys. These are $12.99, little like cars. And then there's a train with Stitch. These are like the newer like children's toys. They have these little play sets. So they have this Minnie Mouse play set and then they have a Daisy play set and this Mickey play set with Pluto. This one's actually really cute. How much are these? $30. I feel like that's not bad. And then they have these big play sets. So this one's a Minnie and Daisy. And then I think they also have one that's like Mickey and Pluto or Mickey and Donald maybe. They have like the full play set for the other two. So how much are the play sets? The play sets are $60. So basically you get two of them. Those are so cute. What did you find, Garrett? The whole oh, 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 that's so cute. <gasps> that's so cute. How much is that? And it's like, should that be his like it's pop not. or popcorn bucket? <laughs> it's, it's sturdy. Should that be his trick or treating bucket? How do we fit? It? Okay, we can totally fit that somewhere. Like throw it in the stroller bag. We we'll find a way. We'll find a way. <laughs> when we have a child, we'll find a way. Or we can always just carry on an extra bucket. <laughs> sure. This is my carry on. <laughs> yep, I love that for you. They'll be your purse. <laughs> Your personal item. <laughs> Basically, with any merchandise purchase, you can get this for $50. It's like the lounge fly backpack. Okay, this is cute. It's a little stitch shirt. That's adorable. Yeah, they have like a whole stitch thing. And that's cute too. It's all cute, to be honest. James is into the train. We love that for him. Okay, I also really like this Mickey pumpkin and it lights up. However... It is $60. I feel like that's a lot because it's really not that big. Like this is my hand. It's really not that big. I also really like this sweatshirt. I'm debating on getting James the four, the size four. Actually, I might just do it now. It's $40. I might get him this for next year. Maybe he'd fit into it this year, but for sure next year. I don't know. What do you guys think? By this point, I'll have made my decision, but it's really cute. I feel like they've had all of this stuff forever. The Play in the Park line. They have all of this in this main store here. I just never really vibed with this line. I don't know what it is, but it's fine. And then over here, they have this pretty big Minnie Mouse section. All sorts of mini things. All right, should we continue to the next store? I think I'm gonna, oh yeah, we have things that we need to buy. Let's go buy these. There's also the Pixar store and then this, the Majestic. We're gonna go in here first. This has like glitz more of the glamour. <laughs> glitz and glamour, like the fancier things. Look at this, interesting. We've got all the Haunted Mansion stuff. I thought this was so cute. How cute is this sweater? I love that. It's also really soft material. And then they also have this one, which is really cool. Oh, this is a cool backpack. Yep, I dig that. And then they have a bunch of Lily Pulitzer here. And they have a whole Pandora section here too. Lots of fun stuff. James is still playing with his train. Do you like your train? Oh, we're getting tired. Okay, we're gonna go to the Pixar store. Ready, let's go. Okay, we're now in the Pixar store. This backpack, so cute. This sweatshirt, also so cute. James is past bedtime, so we are definitely struggling. They do have a lot of the Halloween stuff here as well. Oh, and then they have this create your own headband now. This is new since the last time we've been here. You can like choose like little plushies to put on your headband like this. They have all the inside out characters, Winnie the Pooh. Ooh, there's more cars. This one's cute, I like this one. All this Toy Story stuff. It's just a lot of fun stuff here. Oh, this is so cute. How cute. Oh, it's adorable. I know, how fun. Garrett. Oh, oh, 
Oh. oh my gosh. <gasps> they even have it in a hoodie. Wow, what a line. What, what a, a line. what a new line. What a line. What Look a at these line. ears. They're all Gary really Bell. cute. And even like coasters. They've got and, it all. And, uh, oh yeah, cups. And they've got the guitar. James would probably love that, to be honest. And there's a cup. There's always that. a cup. It's Disney. Of course it is. It's got a uh, squishy, squishy, squishy straw. straw. Fancy. A squishy straw. Squishy straw. Too bad the shirt is the kind of shirt you don't like. Yeah. Okay, we're going to keep going. This is really fun because there's like not a lot of people here anymore, which we love. This store right here is the Star Wars store. We're not going to go in there right now because we're prioritizing. We're going to Disney and Co. Disney and Co. is where we're going. This side has um, like homeware, yeah. cups and mugs, and pens. Maybe we could check out the pens. It's just like such a vibe, even in the rain. If I'm being honest, this store has a lot of the same stuff as all the other stores we've been to. I really just wanted to look at the shirts to see if they had anything different. So they do have that shirt that I want. That 1928 shirt's kind of cute. Just like, uh... Yeah, that's nice, actually. Simple oh, that. yeah, that's really nice. I feel like I'd wear that. I'd probably even wear this. Oh, my gosh, that reminds me of what I used to have. Like but it was in the front, remember? That's so cute. I'd I like the that. colors of that one. We, I'd wear that one. Could we get matching? <laughs> we would both wear that one. Just get matching? the same one and just wear it. Oh, my gosh, this is so... <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so cute. I feel like these princess pins are new. I really like the Rapunzel one. Actually, she doesn't really have a mouth. Where's her mouth? I'm not sure. I feel like a lot of these are newer. We have this autumn pin, Chippendale. We are done shopping. The toddler had a moment and another moment and now we're leaving. So time to get on the Skyliner. This is the best thing about staying at Pop Century. The Skyliner. So we just took the Skyliner to the hub at Caribbean Beach and there was literally no line to get on the Skyliner at Hollywood Studios. However, this is the line to get to Pop Century. So also the end of the line is in the rain. So Wow, this is great. We love this for us. We're doing it. Guys... <laughs> <laughs> We've made it. Oh. We made it to Pop Century. Oh my gosh. We're being We're baptized just, by like, the waters of Disney. I am just, literally, I don't even know why I'm wet. <laughs> because I have ponchos. I have umbrellas. We I have all of the jackets. reindeer. Rain jackets. Why am I choosing? I think I just got to the point during Fantasmic that I was just wet, right? And then I'm just like, you know what? What's the point at this point? Why am and, I saving myself at this and point? In, in, and in solidarity, I chose to join my wife in becoming moist as well. <laughs> and James, well, James hasn't suffered all that much. He's he's chilling in his stroller, but it's dry, dry as a bone. What a mess. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we've made it back to Pop Century. You're not seeing it, but it's here. Um, we have a bit of a ways to walk because we're in the 80s section. It's fine. It's not I a think. terrible walk. To be honest, though, I feel like we had a really good night at this Hollywood. Is, like I feel refreshing. like I feel like our night at Hollywood though yes. was nice. Like very I feel successful. like it was very much like at our pace. We just like it's... did whatever we wanted to do. To be honest, I had multi pass. I had lightning lanes, and we didn't use no. like three of them. <laughs> it makes me ready I just, for Christmas. I, yeah, I think we're going to spend a lot more time here for Christmas. Spoiler alert. We are coming back for Christmas break. So, yeah, we're excited to come back. We're excited to spend more time there. Tomorrow we're doing Animal and Magic Kingdom again. Oh, yeah. And then we really, like, Tuesday is, like, for sure Epcot before we leave. Yes. So, um, I feel like, I feel satisfied. Do you feel satisfied? Huh? With, with Hollywood? Yeah. Do you oh, feel satisfied? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. He... We, we, we ticked a lot of boxes. So Fabulous. Happy. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So, friends, we're going to leave you there. Thank you guys for watching this Hot Mess Express. We love you guys. Um, if you are new here, we're pass holders. I'm also a Disney travel agent. So, if you're needing some, you know, Disney planning services, using a travel agent is free. This is my plug of the vlog. I haven't done it yet. 
but using a travel agent is free to use. Prices are the same as the Disney website. And you know, you get my professional opinions as well. So there you go. I think that's the biggest part of, yeah. of the, like, the difference. Okay, we love you guys. We will see you tomorrow, Animal Kingdom, bright and early. Bye. James, say bye-bye.